Want to learn how to remove a bathroom faucet nipple? Keep on watching. Okay, so I have asked multiple different people how to remove this rusty old pipe nipple coming from my wall. So, let's get to the chase. Okay, so one day I was cleaning up last week and all of a sudden I felt water underneath the bathroom sink. And I'm like, hmm, why is this so wet? Then I looked up and I noticed there was a slow leak. It had been there for quite some time, but I didn't notice. And I clean up the bathroom sink every week, but I didn't notice that the wood was soaking wet at the bottom. Needless to say, here I go trying to remove this nipple. I know it's called a nipple because that's what they told me at the Home Depot. So as you can see, I tried multiple tools. I went from a regular wrench to some pliers. Uh, these grip pliers right here and then I had tongue and groove pliers and none of that work asking multiple people multiple people different questions um, at different stores I got this right here this is a tool that's supposed to put on the inside and twist it out some kind of way that I saw in a YouTube video but my tool did not fit on the inside of my pipe unfortunately I don't know if it would have worked or not, but as you can see, it's too big to go into the pipe. I promise y'all, I think that pipe was super glued in, but it was just old, corroded, and rusty. And everybody that I had asked advised me to call a plumber. And you know, we hey, we called a plumber and child, please. Okay, so this tool right here is a tool of the day, okay? It is called a pipe wrench. The guy at AutoZone, shout out to you, he finally told me to go ahead and try a pipe wrench. After about three days of trying to get this pipe out the wall, y'all, I was scared because they was like, man, if you break it off, you know, you're going to have to run into more trouble and all of this hill. So me, I'm a daredevil. So I said, let me try it because a plumber would have came and cost me an arm and two legs and ain't nobody got time for that. So. I said, let me try this pipe wrench. So the guy at the um the other hardware store, he said, try it using a pipe. So he gave me this pipe right here. And he said I was going to need a little bit more leverage. So let's see if this works. Y'all, I couldn't tell the tag off for nothing. So let's see. Lord, let us pray that this thing works. And lo and behold, it start moving, y'all. It start moving slowly. Um, I don't think it's moving right there, but it's 100, that little inch. They say if you give somebody an inch, they take a mile. Well, this pipe wrench took a mile, and I'm so glad that it did. Um, first, you got to put it on there and twist it so it can get a grip. And those teeth in the pipe wrench are made to, like, dig into the pipe. And that's what I have been needing this whole entire time instead of getting trying all of those little tools. Mind y'all. I was going out and purchasing some of those tools that still did not work for what I needed it for. But finally, the pipe wrench worked. I was so scared it was just going to twist off and, you know, go, you know, not be, break off in the wall. That's what I was scared of. So this thing started working and I was like, yes, sir, glory. And see here, I got it off. Praise God. Um, so it got a little hole in it and it's rusty and it's just nasty looking. And I'm thinking to myself, man, we wash our face and brush our teeth with this with this pipe. Ew. Look at it. Like, can y'all imagine what y'all pipes might look like outside of, you know, in y'all walls? This just disgusted me. And the, the guy at the Home Depot was like, go ahead and keep using that pipe because... You know, you might have a hard time if you try to take it out. And after I seen that pipe, I was like, uh-uh, baby, you got to go. And it was all kind of crud up in the, you know, the whole part. It wasn't dirty inside the hole. It was that pipe that was mostly dirty. So I used this wrench right here. I guess you call this here a wrench to try to take off the, um, the, I think you call that a valve. Take off the valve and, um. It didn't work so good, so I got my tongue and groove pliers right here, and they gripped it very well. So, y'all, the moral of the story is, if you're going to be a plumber, honey, you better get all your tools, baby, because it, it get the right tools, okay? Because I bought a lot of tools to um, help myself with this project. I don't mind spending the extra money on some tools, because these are tools that I did not have in my tool bag, and... um. 
as you guys know who've been following me for a mighty long time i like to try my hand at fixing stuff so since i got the pipe off the first one i was gonna see if i can get the pipe off the second one now on the first pipe i had uh use wd-40 and all of that there but right here i'm just showing you guys how i took off that plate i guess that's a wall plate and i just pretty much put my screwdriver behind it and just snatched it off y'all can see how old this we live in an old house y'all um so this has been going on for a while nobody knew that because who tears down stuff and look at the pipes in the wall uh not me but now i now i know um y'all know i did my faucet a long time ago in the kitchen but i've never done something that was this was kind of complicated y'all it really was but now i got the pipes off and i'm gonna see if i can get the other pipe i did not put any wd-40 on this because i didn't with, like with the other one the, the one that's already off it was the one that was leaking this one was not leaking but since i got one off and that one looked nasty i'm gonna get two off baby i'm gonna get all both of them off and we're gonna start from scratch with some clean uh pipe nipples okay so this one was kind of complicated because i didn't like do wd-40 i don't know if you need it or not but i guess you do and so i just had to get my grip on it which was hard i'm trying to take the tag off look like i'm gonna take the thing back to the store but baby i'm not i'm struggling though but uh uh get the pipe so i can get some leverage and there it go y'all it started to twist yes sir i'm so happy now now all i gotta do is go back to home depot once i get these things off and get some uh pipe nipples look how nasty they look y'all just look i be brushing my teeth in this sink and the water be coming out of these oh and just to think i tried to save them i tried to save them because the guys was like you need to just keep those pipes on if you're not gonna call a plumber and try to see if you can get the valve twisted on them i tried it it didn't work so after i looked at it anyway i wanted to go ahead and take it off now this is the part here where i just got this well, i don't know what you call this tool but it's just cleaner a pipe cleaner i guess from home depot and i scraped the inside out and, and i don't know who told me to use lemon juice but nobody did but i figured hey it ain't gonna hurt none so i put them in the pipes and tried to you know clean out the little world so all of the debris that was in the pipes that was you know that's in the wall because the water come through there y'all the water come through there so my bright idea told me to get the lemon juice and try to get as much rust and debris out of the pipes as i could before go ahead and trying to uh put new pipe nipples on so um as y'all can see the walls behind they old they dirty i it was wallpaper on the walls y'all back there so this is my new piece i got from home depot which is a little bit longer because they didn't have the ones in the length that i got i think the length that i have are four uh, three inches are the old rusty ones and four inches is the new one so uh that's all they had in the store so i went with the four inch uh pipe nipples so what i did here was i got the uh plumber's tape is what you call this and wrap it around the end of the, the thread on both ends so i found out later that you need to wrap when you wrap a plumber's tape you got to go clockwise i believe that's what they said clockwise so that way when you twisting it into wherever you're gonna put it into the wall um the plumber's tape will not fall you know unscrew or whatever but either way i don't know which direction i wrapped mine in because i wasn't paying attention i just wrapped it on there but it didn't come loose uh either way it did not come loose so this wall is nasty as y'all can see this wall goes behind the sink so nobody ever sees this wall but looking at the wall as you can tell it's a very important wall but my sink is um you could see like when i open my sink my older sink uh you can see the wallpaper behind the wall but it was never no big deal you know for me it was but i never knew that i was gonna be fixing it uh well i probably did one day but so i i sandpapered the wall as good as i could and what i did was i um just got some paint that i had stored away because i i just keep stuff and um 
I got the paint so I could put a fresh coat of uh, white paint on the wall to brighten it up and make it look, you know, fresh again because that wallpaper was like nasty looking from back there. Who knows? That wallpaper probably been on there for like 50 years. I don't know how old this house is, but it's old and everything need to be upgraded in here and I'm going to try to get, do my best to make it stay nice you know what i'm saying so here are some new brand new wall plates i guess that's what you call these things but they go behind you know the pipe the pipes to cover up that hole um so what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna twist these on and put the wall plate on i had no idea which came first the pipe or the wall plate so i went ahead and twisted this pipe on this pipe uh wrench is the best thing that happened to me in the last four days y'all y'all no lie i literally took me um to get the whole pipe situation done and get the sink in and in, in the brand new cabinet in it took me a solid six days <laughs> no lie it took me six days i was frustrated aggravated but i am a person that do not like to give up on projects so i just kept going and, you know, I wanted to finish what I started. So I was able to get those pipes, pipe nipples in, installed, and brand new. And now I'm going to check for leaks. Now, they got the Home Depot. You see the gold top on top of this valve, what I'm putting on? Um, because I had put the sink together all the way the first time, and then I checked for leaks, and the pipes were still leaking, he told me to get these these gold caps so that way i didn't have to go through the trouble of putting the entire sink in then figuring out it was leaking after the sink was already connected so i went ahead and got the caps and uh the caps uh served the purpose of kind of like putting the sink in but not putting the sink in it plugs up that other hole at the top of the faucet the valve so that way water won't shoot out so i get that on so now i'm going to go ahead and check for leaks i'm going to go outside and turn the water on to see if anything's leaking and i'm going to screw that one on the rest of the way with this wrench um i think the key to a lot of this stuff is not over tightening and it's real easy to over tighten if you're not paying attention because it's, it just is so i want to make sure both of my knobs right here are facing upward okay they not they not on too tight but they on tight enough that it won't spring no leak okay make sure they both springing i mean facing up i got some extra uh plumber's tape on there but it's all good i just lift it there so now i got it on <sighs> i went outside and turned the water on so now when i turn this on that little gold cap at the top lets me know you know lets the water keep from shooting out so right now i'm just filling around for any like extra liquid any water that could be leaking from the the valve or whatever and um that's what i'm feeling for and it's there's no leaks in it whatsoever so i'm good everything is good and you know there's no more leaks thank god so i'm just gonna go this extra mile and use some tissue and see you know if it wets up the, the the tissue and it is not so everything is good and the pipe nipples are complete y'all um and i'm checking in the back to you know see any signs of water because i don't want no leaks at all okay no leaks so nothing is wet everything is good and i'm happy about that so the pipe nipples are finished so i use the 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 main character in the video here is the um, pipe wrench and also a empty pipe so you can get some leverage on the pipe wrench. Um, I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is how my sink looks now that I put the entire sink in. I put the entire vanity and the sink in brand new and uh, this is the result. Okay. And I left that bucket down there just in case I had a leak. But I did not. But, you know, my nerves was like, okay, leave it there just in case. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.